Perfect. My name is Rafi Villavilla from criticologos.com. Carrie Ray, a pleasure to be talking to you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you as well. Carrie, let me tell you something. You need to just tell you my mother's name is Maria. I just told her you need to see the series once it comes out. I'm not going to give you the screener, so you're going to have to see it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I when I talked to 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 Chris, I told them the two of you embodied my dad and my mother so much. Uh, I just watched so I'm um, So uh, I, I want to talk. I mean, I, uh, what is how how would you how would you deal? How would you go about your day in real life dealing with your daughter being psychic, knowing that what if you know if you're gonna do something, planning to do something bad in the future, you don't want your husband to find out. Oh my gosh, that's so multi-layered. Well, I would say that Maggie or uh, Maria operates very much like I do in real life as a mother of a child who is not a psychic. So operating generally from a place of fear because you want everything that's great for your child and nothing that's bad, even though life is all of it. Um, I think the psychic element is just one more layer to add complication. But I think every child, every mother, do- mother, son, mother child relationship has these multi-layer things and there's always something so in this case that something is that she's a psychic so i think some of it is comforting to maria because she thinks that her daughter's on a bit of a higher plane in a sense um and she's often asking her what's going to happen and is everything going to be okay but then there's another part of it where she doesn't trust her daughter to wear her hair the right way and that you know, that might make her unattractive to suitors in the future. So, you know. Ray, my name is Rafael Ankel. Just so you know, my, my second name is Angel. Ah, so, yeah. you know, I, I want to know, I love, I love what you did with Angel. Where, where can I, where, where do I sign up to find a best friend like Angel? And that he's also a psychic <laughs> because I kind of need somebody Get like in that. Line. Raphael, <laughs> I will do it. I, I'm your guy. <laughs> I will do it for you. I'm there for you, man. You know, uh, okay, so let's 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 like make believe in here. So tell me, what did you see in my future? Be angel and tell me what you see in my future. I see. Oh, I see a beach. I see a beach with great love, and there's a sunset, and there's a yacht sailing into the photo, and wealth and happiness. Sounds like you're going to be on a reality show. I, I, right. I, I, that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Right. I mean, let's talk about Angel. I mean, I mean, I love what you did. How much of the character is you or, or how much of the character was you just following the script? Because it, it seemed that you had a lot of fun with the character. I think, I mean, it's inspired, obviously, by the words that the writers put down, but it's coming from my heart, right? It's coming from my imagination. Um, I didn't have to do a whole lot. To, uh, to get ready to play Angel. It feels a lot like my life. I'm not a psychic, but just those kinds of relationships, uh, I really am, I really understood. The cast is so amazing, but at the same time, so diverse and so multicultural, which is, to me, one of the things that stood out to m- so much about the series. What does it mean to you guys that, that Hollywood is, is finally moving in this direction? Where we, 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 this, we don't want this to become a subject anymore. We just want, want this to be a normal. But what does it mean to, to you guys that, that we're, we're finally seeing you know, everyone you know, play their role and, and see them as the, who they are? I carry you first. I think it's about damn time is what I think. I also feel grateful to be brought along for the ride as an aging woman. Um, often we're just the sort of comic relief or, you know, the, mm. the, the side show. And so it feels really good to be part of such a beautiful, diverse group of mega talented people. Yeah, agreed, right. agreed. And you know, one thing I love about this show is it feels effortless. Yeah. Right? It doesn't feel like anyone was trying to be multicultural or be diverse. It just, because life looks like this sometimes, right? And that's what we're representing. And it feels very true and real to me. I think I'm running out of time. So I want to ask one last, one last question. And I want, want you guys to tell, when, tell me what you so feel what you want people to take away from the series once they see it, carry you first. I want people to take away, uh, hopefully they can see part of themselves in this show. Um, hopefully, you know, really selfishly, I'm hoping people take a look at their mothers and say, 
okay, she means well, I see that. Um, and maybe we can laugh about it. I'm speaking directly to my son. I see you, I hear you. I hope you're watching this. Um, and I hope people, you know, find joy and and accept that, you know, being different is uh, is a beautiful thing. Right. I really hope that people walk away with a sense of what it means to have unlimited potential, mm. to have possibility, to have the world be your oyster. Carrie, Ray, thank you for the two of you for your time. This was amazing. It was a pleasure and honor. So, and congratulations once again. All of you nailed it and you blew it out of the park, all of you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank, thank you thank so you. much. Say hi to your mom. Yes, I will. And she's going to have to see the series. I told her. Both my mom and my dad need to go. Hi, Maria. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.